I want you to close your eyes and imagine an ancient human. What we call a caveman. Go on, close your eyes and imagine an ancient human. You can still hear my voice. Imagine a caveman. Do you have an image? Okay, now open your eyes. Is this what the image looked like? Most probably yes, right? Man, the hunter. But in reality, hunting was not their main activity. Oh, no, no, no. Gathering. Gathering was the profession that really provided most of their calories, their energy, their food, their raw materials like flintstones and wood and other stuff like that. This was also called foraging. Say it with me. Foraging. It's time to jump. Now the men were mostly out hunting, trying to catch some game. And the women? The women were mostly out gathering fruits and veggies and nuts and berries. Hey, that rhymed. But more often than not, it was the women who brought back enough food to keep the group fed. So of course, once in a while, a successful hunt would allow everyone to gather around and have a fun gala feast. Yeah, what fun! Yes, they were hunters and they were gatherers. Hunter-gatherers, that's what you were looking at. These were people who hunted animals and gathered plants for food while they kept moving from place to place. Well, they had to keep moving because once the food in one area gets over, they had to find a new place, obviously. And because they never settled down in any place, they were called nomads, which means that they were wandering people with no permanent home. By the way, Homo sapiens did not forage only for food and materials. They foraged for knowledge as well. Because to survive, they needed to know everything about their territory. They collected info about how plants grow and how animals behave. They needed to know which foods were nutritious, which made you sick, and which ones were medicine. Whatever they found out, they were able to share with each other. And so, the early humans were actually major gossipers. Information spread among them like wildfire. As a result, these hunter-gatherer Homo sapiens had an awesome knowledge of all the places they lived in. They knew which plants were edible, they knew which animals to be caught, where and how, and they knew what were the places to avoid. And they always had their most important weapon, fire, which they used to cook, to keep wild animals away from their camps and shelters, and to hunt. They had started using fire in some very creative ways too. For instance, suppose they come to a wild, forested area that looks dangerous. The kind of animals that they love to hunt and have learned how to hunt from their savannah days are deer and, you know, other animals like that. Those animals live best in nice grasslands, right? But forests, forests normally house more dangerous beasts like tigers and panthers. What if they could convert this forest into a grassland? Hmm, well, they could set fire to the forest and just go away for a nomadic round for some time. And then once it burns down, normally a grassland takes its place. And by the time they come back to this spot, this would be teeming with the kind of wildlife that they can hunt. Yes, it was very irresponsible and not at all eco-friendly of them, but they didn't know any better. But you know better, so don't do it. Similarly, they could also use fire to mass produce food. They could spot a nice large herd of bison like that set over there and then sneak up on them. They could use fire 
to scare and herd them into a ravine which they had identified for exactly this purpose. And once the prey is trapped this way, they can use their spears and their weapons to kill them off. And yay! Now they would have enough to eat for a few weeks. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.